Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and today our learning goal is to tell time to the hour. And I bet that you already know how to do this because this is a review for us. Now I have a clock right here. Hmm. And you'll notice some things about this clock. There are some numbers on the clock. How many numbers are there? Hmm. On my clock, there are 12 big numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, we have 24 hours every day. And our clock has 12 hours on it. Hmm. Do you remember some of your double facts? 12 plus 12 equals 24. So our clock actually goes all the way around two times every day. So there is a one o'clock early, early in the morning and a one o'clock in the afternoon after lunchtime. And there is a six o'clock in the morning and a six o'clock in the evening. Maybe that's when you eat supper. Now, my clock has a number of different parts to it. And the first part is called the face. The front of our clock is often called the face. And do you see these three lines? We call those hands. They're the hands of the clock. Now, one of the hands, the shorter hand, is called the hour hand. And it tells us which hour we are close to. And the middle length is called the minute hand. And it tells us how many minutes before or after the hour. And then our longest hand, the fastest hand, is our second hand. And it goes all the way around the clock every minute. Do you know how many seconds are in a minute? Did you say 60? Give yourself a little pat on the back if you knew that there were 60 seconds in a minute. Hmm. Do you know how many minutes are in one hour? Did you say 60? It's 60 again. There are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. Now, this is a real clock that is working. But today we are gonna practice with our practice clock because I can move the hands without breaking it. So I am going to put our clock right here. Do you know what time this is? This is what time I got up and out of bed today. It is seven o'clock, or seven of the clock. Our hour hand is pointing to the seven, and our minute hand is pointing to, do you remember what number that is? I'll let you peek. It's the 12. Hmm. And I am going to change our clock. And in my school, this is what time we have recess. What time is it? You're right, it is 10 o'clock or 10 of the clock. The hour hand or the shorter hand is pointing to the 10 and the longer hand is pointing to the 12. Hmm. Now I'm gonna show you what time I went to bed last night. It was way too late. Do you know what time that is? It is 12 o'clock. Sometimes we call it midnight. That was far too late for me to stay up. Tonight I will have to do a better job of going to bed on time. Well, I think that we should take a look at the board and see how we can write down 10 o'clock. We are going to take a look at how we write 10 o'clock. When we write 10 o'clock, we start with the number 10. 
So I am going to draw the number 10 right there. And then we have two little dots. They're called a colon. And then for the O clock, it's just zeros, two zeros, because it's 10 o'clock without any minutes at all. When we're writing the time, on this side we write the hour, and on the other side we write the minutes. Well, let's try another time. What about writing one o'clock? Hmm, well I would need to erase the 10. And instead of writing 10 for the hour, we are going to write the number one for an hour. I'm gonna put it right there. One o'clock means that it is one without any minutes at all. Well, what if I switch it to two o'clock and then three o'clock? How will we write three o'clock? Well, we are going to take off the one we will put the three here because this is where we write the hours. Three o'clock means three with no minutes. So we keep the two zeros right here. Hmm, do you know how to write five o'clock? I want you to try. If you don't have any paper, you could write it in the air. Did you write down five with two zeros afterwards. That shows five o'clock without any minutes at all. What about seven o'clock? I want you to write it down. If you don't have paper, write it in the air. Did you write your seven o'clock like this with seven for the hour and no minutes at all. Class, I would like for you to take some time writing your o'clocks and practice telling time with a clock. I know that you are going to do an amazing job. I hope that you have a wonderful day, class. Bye-bye.